Hello and welcome to Nelly Notions. Today I'm going to go over the free version and the paid version of the period tracker template. So I'm going to start with the free version. There have been some updates, so I'm doing a new demo. Um, here is the overview of the free version. What you would do is you just come in here. Let me clear this out real quick so I can show you. You're going to add in the days of your period. Oops. So 13 through 15. And then the last month of your period. And I would recommend if you are going to archive these and do save years worth of period data, I would recommend um, adding in the dates here. So naming this like May 2022, April 2022, and so on. So you do that and you get everything here. The dates of the period, the length of the period, the average cycle. Um, you'll see if it is a day late or day early. Ovulation, fertile. Um, fertile, I'm fertile today, so you can see a little notification there. If I wasn't, because today is the 25th, that wouldn't show up. All the symptoms that you added in right over here in the multi-selects or the select views. And then down here, it will tell you the days to your next period, your next predicted period. It will also let you know if your period is late on here. It will say if you're ovulating that day. And I think that's it. And I think it will say like today is your period too, if it is the day of your period. Okay. Down here is the board view, the calendar view, and you can also just switch up here and see each view archived. And then here is, if you just want a quick glance of your, the cycle days for each month, you can have it in here and you can filter it any way you'd like. If you have two periods in one month, just duplicate this. Like let's say you had two periods in April, duplicate April. And name the second one second. So you know it's the second period. And then put in the dates for that one and then relate this to there, this to there. Um, if you want to do a whole nother year, let's say all of this is says 2022 and you want to do 2023. Um, I would archive all of these. So you have, oops, the archive is right here, or you can just highlight them all, right click edit property, go to archive and select archive. Then go into your archive and they will all be in here and highlight them all, duplicate them, and then highlight the new ones and unselect archive. They will all show up here. And then just clear out the dates and stuff and it's the same thing. Highlight, left click, and clear out like date, um, symptoms, and it will clear them all out for everything. So it's just a really quick, easy way to do it if you wanna do that. Now I'm going to show you the period tracker with the daily sy symptoms. This is the version 2.0, it is $3. The other one is free. So in here, you have the same as before with some added benefits. So you have the symptoms overview, which is for each day. I should put daily symptoms here. So you can log each day of your period instead of um, just logging it for that whole thing. Okay. 
over here is your average overall symptoms. So we'll do an average of whatever you want to relate. So if you want to do an average of an entire year, you would just highlight the averages section, right click, and then, um, oops, don't want to do that. Right click, edit property, averages, and then select that year. It's already selected. I also have count of symptoms. So you can go in here and see the count of all the symptoms you've selected for your med count, mood count, symptom count. You also want to put the um, relate the period tracker database for the averages too because you want to relate for the overall um, averages, you want to relate that. For the count, you're only relating the, as you can see near this, the symptoms database. I have in here a timeline, if you'd like that view. Spotting days, you can add your spotting days and they will show up in the board view right up there. Also have a quick log for the month. So you can just quickly log in your month's period symptoms right up there. Um, as you can see right here, it says, don't forget to take your pill. So this version also has a birth control and sex log section. So you have your birth control reminders and what you would do here is um, you can create a new one. I would duplicate it because of the name. I'll show you what I mean. If I go into board view, why did, oh. I would duplicate it because of the relation. That's what I mean. I think it would automatically put the relation. Let's see. Duplicate. Yeah. So you don't have to add the relation every time for May. If, you, if, the, if you're doing for May, if you're doing for the same ones, duplicate it or just add new and then relate it to whatever. Because this is related to the period symptom tracker. So this is related. If I click on here, I'll show you what I mean. It's in the May period overview. And the reason it's related is so they can show up in here and the notifications. Okay, so what you wanna do is every month, highlight these and relate it to the current month if you want it to show up there. I'm sorry, I'm tired and I think I'm babbling a little. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come in here and select, let's say it's an implant. We'll change this to implant. Changed every, I think, I don't know, six months. I'm not sure, You're, you'll know, your doctor will let you know. And then you can add in your doctor, email, phone, appointment, address. And what this is going to do is it will notify you. For the pill and the patch, it's just the pill is every day and the patch is once a week. So that will just say, don't forget your pill, don't forget your patch. The rest of them are like monthly, yearly, whatever. They will give you a notification a week ahead of when you're supposed to renew it. So you would you would see something that would say for your patch, let's say the patch is November 24th. So a week before November 24th in here, and if you relate it to this month period down here, it will say, don't forget to make an appointment on uh, for November 24th to get your patch renewed or whatever. Or not your patch, sorry. Implant, that's what we'll say. You wanna 
rename this implant. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So that is for that. That's to remind you, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. Down here is the birth control log. So if you wanna keep track of every day that you took your pill, um, or, eat, or just days you missed it, you could. Just don't click the checkbox. Um, if you missed it, it will tell you to double up the next day. And that's only for the pill. You have the today, today log where you can just log real quick for today, this week, and all. And you would just select whatever um, birth control that you have taken. Okay, I can hide this view. I don't think I need that to show. Okay, the sex log, you will add in the date you had sex, um, the type of birth control you used, did you use a condom, yes or no, because you can use both, um, and then relate it to the, that month of your period tracker if you want to see if you were fertile or ovulating. I also added a person thing here. This is, um, you can change this to just text if you want property and then notes and then whatever other properties you can think of, of course. And this is just a template. So you, for your personal use. So if you don't like the pink and all this, you can change the cover, change the icons, you know, you can customize it however you want it. But this is just, how I made it something you know of course you can make it I don't even use this for my personal use I have it looks very I like the minimal look so I've like it doesn't look like this it doesn't have all this pink um so yeah you can and even in here you can change the pink go in here to whatever color you want it doesn't have to be pink okay so this is the great thing about Notion is you can really, you can get templates and then just customize them the way you like um, for your own personal use. I think I covered everything. I think I did talk about the monthly cycle view, okay. And I hope you like this video. I'll probably do more updates. Um, did I show you the overall count view? If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, maybe. That would be cool. Anytime I do updates, especially if I do quite a few of them, like I did the past two days, I uh, will do a video because I want to demo it and show everyone how it works. I try to make it as user friendly as I possibly can. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, really anything at all. And that's it. Thank you. Have a great day.